Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Welcome back to my video. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay, stop. So today you guys will just be hanging out with me. I just cleaned my whole apartment. You guys can go over to my TikTok if you want to look at that. I have to get ready for my day now. I have to eat still, brush my teeth, wash my face, change. I want to do some shopping, just a little bit, just to run some errands, get some gas. Abby and I are going to go to the men's basketball game today at 2. It is currently 11.49, so we got to get this show on the road. Very happy I got my cleaning all done already, so I'm all nice and reset. I don't know what I'm going to wear today yet. Abby and I might go to the metaphysical shop and get boba. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. I definitely get to do some homework and some laundry. I didn't do my laundry as I was cleaning because I just wanted to get everything cleaned and make sure I'd be able to get out of here to get Ebby as soon as possible. So I will do that this afternoon, play some Fortnite, and I feel like that's it. Pretty packed day already, you guys. So let's get started. So I know for my last video, I did my nighttime skincare routine in a video. So I wanted to show you guys my morning skincare routine. First, I just start off by washing my face with just a washcloth with warm water. And then I put vitamin C on my face. I used to do this at night. And then I was watching Chloe Yasmin's video and her mom said that you're supposed to put it on in the morning. And I'm gonna trust her, I don't know. Chloe Yasmin's a self-care girly, just like me. So of course, I'm gonna take tips and advice from her channel. Why wouldn't I? So rub it all in. I kind of rub things in a little crazy. I just use a face lotion. I'm not picky on face lotions. Each person's different, you know? Because everyone has different skin. So just whatever face lotion works best for you. And whenever I have extra, I just rub it on my neck. Because of my neck. I don't even know if this is all rubbed in. Last but not least, I just use a face sunscreen, especially for days like this. I don't use this every day, honestly, because some days are all groggy. Even then, it's just so good to use it just to get in the habit of using it and so your face is protected. Because some of those days where I'll be groggy in the morning because I leave 7.50ish, 7.30. So it's dark. And by the time I'm coming back to my apartment from the day, from finishing my class and everything, it's sunny out. And I'm like, dang, I should have put on my sunscreen. So it's good for me to use this right now because I can see it's sunny. I know that my face is going to be protected. So yeah, that's all I do for my face skincare routine. And I still go ahead and give myself a little massage and just work the product into my skin as best as I can and take this time to run my face in the way I want it to go. <laughs> Basically just doing gua sha with my hands. This is what I used to do before I even had gua sha. So now I'm just kinda in the practice of doing it already. But I feel like it helps. I definitely feel as though it just helps to work in that product more. All right, so now I'm gonna get dressed. Like I said, I don't know what I'm wearing. So I'm gonna find an outfit to wear and I'll show you guys what I'm gonna wear. So I picked out this Poetic Justice shirt. I'm gonna put this under it because I just want the sleeves. Then these black jeans and they have this little zipper decal at the bottom of it. And I did just run the iron over that shirt really quickly. For the shoes, I'm just gonna do my Basquiat X Converse. I changed everything. Guess what we're looking like the blacks don't match i don't mind you know we're gonna play on it i'm gonna change my jewelry though because i have silver earrings in and i've been wearing this gold chain so i want to put on some silver necklaces or silver something it's so wild to me to think that one day this is just gonna be a dream um, not a dream what the f this is gonna be a memory because i'm in college right now and it's my last semester you guys so one day i'm just gonna be working she's out there somewhere already working thinking back like dang i used to be having to do homework on the weekends and figuring out when i'm gonna do my homework and now all i gotta do is work and travel and pay bills does that look good i'm gonna do my perfumes now i've been using this i don't know which rihanna perfume this is honestly i've been using it though the last few days because i've had it just chilling for a minute and i would like to cycle through my perfumes and not just have them sitting for so long so we're gonna do that i put on some beach water coconut lotion a second ago also 
Lastly, we're just gonna spray on some amber blush. This is almost gone, thankfully, because I'm doing the same thing with my perfumes and lotions. I just didn't use them when I was younger and I continued to get them for Christmas, which I'm extremely grateful for. I definitely just want to actually use them though and get the benefits from them and smell different, you know? So definitely working on getting through my perfumes and little bath and body works lotions that I have so I can continue to explore especially because they'll have those little semi-annual sales. They're always having some good ones. And I'm always like, oh, well, I don't want to get too many because I still have so many. And I'll just keep building up. Definitely working my way downtown with those. I am getting hungry. And I haven't eaten at all yet today. It's definitely that time. For my smoothie, we're gonna use a banana, an apple, some spinach, some maca root for a supplement, some cinnamon, some honey, some peanut butter, mixed fruit, some brown sugar, almond milk, and some ice. I'm just gonna eat a piece of banana bread. There we go. Um, my smoothie is really good, you guys. Definitely try it out because it's good and relatively healthy. Okay, so I haven't done any makeup in a minute, you guys. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna do something chill, nothing crazy. I don't usually do crazy everyday makeup. I'm just gonna do some blush and some highlighter. Here are those that I'm using. I use the same ones every single time. This one's from Target. I found with this, you only want to go in once. And I, I tap it in each of them. I go on my nose and then my cheeks. And I want to drag it up and on my cheekbones as well. Sometimes I notice too that down here, you can see the differentiation in it. So I really like to do my best to just blend it all in. I'm kind of viciously blending right now. Then I'm just going to take my highlighter. Here's what that looks like and do the same thing this it doesn't really matter how many times i go in i definitely mix it all though i like to just use every single color because literally why not and i feel like with blush especially even if it doesn't look like there's a lot you just want to keep it at that one and honestly same for your nose highlight so i do my best to really blend my nose highlight in even like i said sometimes it doesn't look like there's a lot on there there's usually a decent amount definitely on there and i don't realize until i get to work or wherever i'm going and i'm like oh okay that's a lot it's not ever a crazy crazy amount luckily it'll just be kind of striking sometimes so yeah i definitely gave my face a good break i have the makeup so why not use it you feel me especially for your little fun days like this I like to put it on my brow bone as well and kind of just do like this so it stays in the brow bone area and doesn't end up somewhere I don't want it to be. And I just take my same blush brush and go ahead and blend that in as well. Any highlighter I just use, I just blend it in. Next, we're gonna go in with my eyebrow stuff, my clear eyebrow gel. And I just brush my eyebrows to look correct. I don't do anything super fancy on them. I just literally brush them so they're just nice and neat. We're also gonna do some mascara. The thing I like about this routine is that it's short and simple and honestly an everyday look and it just for some reason helped make me feel and look way more put together. Here's what that looks like. Look at that difference. So you definitely, you don't have to wear mascara or any kind of makeup if you don't want to. Your natural face is just as beautiful and more beautiful. I feel as though makeup just enhances your beauty. Sometimes people will do a bit more makeup than what I'm doing right now. And it can change the look of your face, which is perfectly fine. Just make sure that you are still loving your face that you currently have as well. 
because you have to see yourself every day why would you not want to love the face that you have literally why because think of this right even when you get plastic surgery you guys if you don't love the face that you currently have you're not gonna love that face i don't care if it's your dream nose you're going to find an issue in it so you have to be okay with your whole body your face just everything just love it be grateful that you woke up the next day i feel like in society we put so much pressure on looks and what other people look like on social media and blah 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 no literally they skip that i myself i'm very happy for them and then that's what they want to do and can do and that's what they're deciding to show off i'll reach that at some point that's not me though so i'm gonna detach myself from feeling as though that should be me because it shouldn't be you and if it was supposed to be you you would have been that person at that time and place you're not though you are you and you are meant to be you and it's up to you to figure out what the heck you were sent here to do how are you going to aid yourself your family your friends whoever is in your life your animal how are you going to aid them were you meant here to be a teacher were you sent here to oh my gosh i have this favorite lip combo i know that just sidetracked it just made me so happy because i have this favorite lip combo and i really want to do it i just have to find the lip liner basically what i was saying though is is your purpose to be a teacher is it to be an educator is it to have a business is it to encourage others is it to content create literally just figure out what you're naturally attracted to yeah i don't know where it's at so we're not gonna do that today I don't feel like looking further, to be honest. It's really just up to you to love who you are and really be in tune with yourself and ignore social media and what it's saying that you should be doing or should not be doing or what stage of your life you should be at. Because if that's where you were meant to be, honey, that's where you will be. You are supposed to be exactly where you are at this very moment. And when we realize that and appreciate where we are and experience that gradual period, you'll just realize, wow, this is what I'm meant to do. And I'm very happy that person got to experience their life and that they're deciding to share it with us. I'm gonna do my hair now. Okay, so I just beaded up my hair. I put these beads on it. And here's what it looks like before. Here's what it looks like. You see some little crinkles in it. Here's what the back looks like. I'm learning my hair and I'm learning that you have to put some water on your hair every day. That's the form of moisture that it takes the best and that's what actually moisturizes your hair. Not all these oils or anything like that. As I said in my last video, I learned that I have low porosity hair. So that means that my hair takes longer to absorb that moisture. So I really make sure to put moisture on it as well. So it has the chance to learn. Okay, time to drain. So my theory is that the water will help to relax my hair and relax some of those crinkles out of my hair. And we're gonna see, I'm gonna let the water absorb in there a little bit more. Because I also did notice as I, when I switch from style to style, say low bun to high bun, I'm sure a good amount of us naturals know that our hair likes to just stay in one place sometimes so i have to reset it with water and honestly it's a good thing to spray water on your hair each day i wouldn't say drench your head i live in michigan and it's winter here right now it wouldn't make much sense for me to be walking outside with wet hair since my hair takes longer to absorb that moisture already i especially want to make sure i'm only dampening it mm, i don't know how i feel about that that's my take on it I just want you guys to implement some type of water into that daily routine and feel good doing it. Like I said, because you're not drenching your hair. It's not a wash day. You're just dampening it to give your water some... <laughs> to give your hair some water. To give your water some hair. Yep, that's exactly what your water wants is your hair. And your skin, you know. It definitely helped it a little. <gasps> a vibe. I'm supposed to be doing low tension hairstyles, you guys, and I'm pulling my hair every which way. Here's what we're looking like. She's free flowing, she's living her life. What I was saying is a vibe is putting it into pigtails. That's so cute. We're gonna do that. This is definitely a point where people who have scrunchies, you'll probably use a scrunchie instead. Because I'm not gonna tie this tight at all. I'm holding it so gently. And these ponytail holders are looser ponytail holders. That is a vibe, you guys. Here's what the back looks like. I have no idea what the parting looks like. I just kind of parted my hair last night. So I'm about to go now and start my car and warm it up for a little bit because I have to go get Evie now and we're going to go to the game. So I will see you guys in the car.
the sun is so nice. I am in the car now. I'm about to go get Abby. Some things I did off camera that you guys did not see was me washing the dishes. And I put the blender base away. I put some dishes away. Went ahead and brought myself some water to have with me. You know, gotta stay hydrated, you guys. I feel like that's it. Cause then I just put on my coat, grabbed my purse, texted Abby. I'm so beautiful. Oh. Really nice out here, you guys. Honestly, I probably don't even have to wear this big coat. I love the snow because it has albedo, which is reflectivity, and it reflects the UV radiation, the insulation from the sun. Here's what I'm looking like. I have on my chip socks today for the game, so I'm definitely prepared for a win. I know we're gonna win. I'm calling it now. You guys are my witness. I don't even know who we're versing, you guys, quite honestly. This is my first basketball game of this whole school year, and it's my last semester of college. In three months, I'll be 22, so I'll have graduated college at 22. I will have my bachelor's degree. That is incredible. That is incredible. Okay, I'm about to get Abby. I'm pulling up to her place now, so I'm going to go, you guys. I'll probably see you guys back at the game So it's really loud in here. Oh yeah. We are currently losing by eight. It's halftime right now. We recorded a TikTok with, I think she's with CMU something. I don't know what page. I know she's with CMU though. I knew my stuff. He did. They were talking about alley oops and alley doops. <laughs> we did that twice already within a span of five minutes. That's so funny. So far so good. We finished our popcorn. We've been drinking our water. Went to the bathroom. That's about it. We in fact did not win. Yeah, about 20 point loss. Yeah, -ish. and then people are walking out with some free stuff. I wonder where they got it from. Probably the very people that we missed. Mm. It was a good game though. I learned lots of new terms about basketball, such as alley doop. Abby taught me their positions and who the point guard is, who the wings are. I didn't realize there were only five people in the game at a time. It just looks like so many more people than that for some reason. I learned a lot just from sitting there and observing. So I just dropped Abby off. Now I'm about to go run some errands. I get to check in by below for this eucalyptus plant thing. I feel like they'd have something of that aesthetic, even if it's not real. I just want the aesthetic for my shower. I have to grab bread, honey, and I want to look for a towel warmer or even just look at them. So I may stop in TJ Maxx as well. Luckily, TJ Maxx, slide below in the Dollar Tree, they're all in the same plaza. So it will just be one easy stop for me. I also wanted to come on here and just talk for a second because I love the sunlight. It's looking so cute.
home so I'm gonna show you guys everything I got I got some wheat bread some faux eucalyptus plants honey chipotle popcorn chili picante con limon corn nuts then I just got two things of honey I'm gonna shower now you guys I am ready to get ready for bed here's how the shower came out looking so I just ended up tying that part together and laying it directly over it I love it 